Hi guys, it's me, Matt, the Magman, again. I'm, you know, I'm just loving talking to you guys. Uh, obviously, we're coming from Magformans UK, home of the world's finest magnetic construction toy. As always, do check us out on either Twitter, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. So uh, today, I'm, a, I'm talking about a particularly cool guy. Uh, he's a guy called Archimedes. Archimedes of Syracuse, no less. Because in the olden days, and we're talking like 287 BC, <laughs> so it's a long time ago, Archimedes is quite a popular name. So his full name is Archimedes of Syracuse, because that's where he came from. Um, he's pretty much famous for, you know, lying in a bath and, and saying, Eureka! Because he, he realised he got in the bath and the water went up and, you know, he figured out like volume displacement and all that sort of stuff. But He's also super famous uh, for a couple of really cool shapes in geometry, 13 of them to be precise. And these are named after him. They're called the Archimedean solids. Now, it's important to note that uh, Archie, old uh, Archimedes, he was working off of the Platonic solids. Uh, these are Plato's shapes, the tetrahedron, the octahedron, the dodecahedron, icosahedron, hexahedron, beautiful shapes. But he was working off the back of these and he kind of figured, um, how many shapes could I make if I was using more than one shape to make it? You see, your dodecahedron is, used, is made only using pentagons, just a pentagon. Your octahedron, just equilateral triangles, your, your, your square, or sorry, your cube even, just squares. So Archimedes thought, what would happen if I had uh, more than one? So I can kind of combine these shapes. And your Archimedean solids, there's pretty much three ways of making them. Uh, and they're all variations of the platonic solids. I mean, a, a, a really uh, simple way to make an Archimedean solid is to combine two platonic solids. For example, let's combine a cube and an octahedron. These two come together to make an Archimedean solid called a cube octahedron. <laughs> they weren't very imaginative with their names. The cube octahedron. Um, now, they're still symmetrical shapes, um, but they do use more than one regular, we're still using regular polygons, they use more than one regular polygon to make. So this little uh, net thing I've kind of got here, if I pull that up and then I do a sound effects are optional. That makes us a cube octahedron, one of the Archimedean solids. I really like the Archimedean solids. I think they start to look very spacey and a bit futuristic, which is super cool, <laughs> super cool. So that's one way of making an Archimedean solid by combining two platonic solids. Another way would be uh, called truncation. Now this is super cool, and I like this a lot. So in geometry, truncation is, um, it's chopping the corners off of a, a shape to make a new shape. It's chopping the vertices off. Now, as an example, this is an Archimedean solid. This is very space age, I think. That is called a truncated, tetrahedron because that is effectively one of these that I've chopped the corners off and just to kind of show you if I put the corners back on you can see we've got our tetrahedron again like that so tetrahedron I've made a nice big one and by chopping the vertices off it creates a truncated tetrahedron. Now here's something super cool to kind of twist your mathematical melon. Um, our tetrahedron has four triangular faces, right? Four triangular faces. And uh, we can kind of see that there, big triangular face. But by chopping the vertices off, our triangle, we're basically, uh, we're doubling it, if you think about it. Our triangle's got three faces, but by chopping, the corners off, we've doubled three into six to make a hexagonal face. So that's another way of making an Archimedean solid, a 
trunk-coated uh, tetrahedron. Very, very cool. Um, I'm going to do one more before I show you the last method, because that's quite long-winded, and I'll save that till the end. Um, this is probably my favourite of the Archimedean solids. It's got a really fun name, and this is a name that's worth remembering. A bit like, <laughs> I always think it's a bit like remembering the Pokemon. Um, or remembering, you know, all the stats of your favourite racing cars, and you know how, all the horsepower, or something like that. This is a shape called a rhombicube octahedron. And this is probably the most famous shape we do at Magformers, because it's so fun to build. So again, our net would look like that. It uh, looks a bit like a, a snowflake or a firework or something like that. And by pulling that up together, the magnets drag it all together. Oh, that's cool, right? <laughs> that is cool. Super, super cool. So that would be a rhombi cube octahedron. That's effectively a version of that, but with the word rhombi added in front of it. It's a cube octahedron, rhombi cube octahedron, 26 faces. So these are some of the Archimedean solids. I'm gonna move that one there. I think it was a bit more space. And I'll see if I have enough triangles to attempt to, I'm, I'm gonna do one more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do one more. So uh, another way, say if I uh, combined a, a dodecahedron, which is one of these, yes, a dodecahedron and an icosahedron together. I could create a shape called an icosidodecahedron, which again is, is an Archimedean solid. See, both of these two platonic solids, but by combining them together, we make this shape. Now, the thing I really like about the net of um, the icosidodecahedron is that it maintains this level of symmetry that just looks super cool. I mean, it starts looking like a star, I think. But then um, the more you kind of go into it, it starts to look like a spiral, like a spiral galaxy. Now, which is probably quite a good point to mention, both the Platonic solids and the Archimedean solids are both part of a field of mathematics known as sacred geometry. So cool. Sacred geometry, and this is uh, the geometry that we kind of see in nature and we see it around us. It also includes all manner of other fun things that uh, all these Renaissance clever people were really into. So anywho, here we are. We've got two beautiful spirally looking things that if I pull it together, it creates our Icosid dodecahedron, another one of Archimedes' solids. Now, bearing in mind that your dodecahedron has got 12 faces and your icosahedron had 20, by combining them together, our Icosid dodecahedron, by that rationale, has 32. <laughs> yeah, that's right, 32 faces, because we've just kind of added the two together. It's pretty simple, really, when you think about it. So, let's see if we can't do this last one. Last way of making um, an Archimedean solid, uh, which is referred to as snubbing. Now, in geometry, snubbing, it's, it's not kind of, you know, oh, I don't like it anymore. It's not that sort of snubbing. It means you're kind of expanding out your shape in space. So, if you could imagine a cube, and we expand out the edges to kind of give us a bit of space in between. And then we fill in the gaps with another shape. This would make us an Archimedean solid. Now this would make us a cool shape called a snub cube. Now it's interesting that it's called a snub cube because it in no way looks like a cube. It looks like um, a, a ball. Oh, this is fit later build as well. So if you are a, a diehard Magformance fan, I challenge you to build this. This is a, it takes practice. So what I'm gonna use is the six faces of uh, my, my square, right, my cube. And I've expanded those shapes out and then I am adding in triangles 
to fill in the gaps. And again, this has a pattern, um, which is, you can, you can see in all geometric shapes, especially when we're dealing with uh, symmetry, there's these recurring patterns, which are very pleasing to the eye. I think it's uh, why we as humans are drawn to uh, symmetry. Oh, we're getting there, you see? This one looks like a bonkers little ball. Now I only need, I think, one more square on this, and then the rest of them are all triangles. If you're struggling to build this, I can recommend asking a friend, spare pair of hands. Now let's plonk a little square there. Oh, it's close. Oh, look at that. It came together. Oh, I was worried there. That was tense. So there we are. Oh, look at that. That is a thing of beauty. It's a bonkers looking shape. And that is a snub cube. One of Archimedes's geometric wonderful shapes so there we are uh archimedean solids pretty pretty cool uh we have the uh, cube octahedron a truncated tetrahedron a snub cube a rhombic cube octahedron and of course the icosidodecahedron this is one two three four five of the archimedean solids and these are 13 there are 13 of these um See if you guys can build the rest of them. They are pretty cool and some of them get really, really big as well. Um, guys, as always, like and subscribe. Feel free to leave some comments in the things below and do check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. You guys stay safe and happy building.